All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, today is a, this is like the third time I was about to start the Daily Dash. So I got all these shoe boxes right here, right? So I own a footwear company, we sponsor Tony Ferguson. He's like a pretty ultra famous UFC fighter. So anyways, he made a post, I don't know, a couple hours ago, posting a picture of the shoes with this 30% discount code, champ shit only. And so I got like the two orders ready, put them in the car. I, I get in the car as I'm about to start the daily dash and like drive to the post office, I get another order. I'm like, all right, fine, I'll go box it real quick because it's Friday and if I don't mail them today, they're not mailing out until Monday. So get back in the house, box up the order, get back in the car, put it down. What happens as soon as I get back in the car? Boom, another order. But it's 3.45 and the post office closes at 5, so for reals this time, if you guys, if someone orders after this, I'm not mailing them out till Monday. Anyways, so it's nothing to complain about at all. Like, these are, uh, so Tony's discount code only gets the shoes 20% uh, off, which means each of these boxes is $100. But it is just kind of like, why didn't they just all come in at the same time? But it, it is what it is, you know. Anyway, so that's just how my day is going. My camera lens is dirty. I'm gonna clean this real quick. All right, a little bit better. Still a little bit dirty, but this lens is all, it's got a little crack on it, so it's always gonna have a little bit of glare. Um, anyway, so what I'm getting at is all these people bought these for only 20% off at $100, but you guys, my YouTube audience, you guys get the special Tanner's YouTube discount for 65% off. So if you guys haven't yet ordered a pair of Off-Axis Ninjas, you should totally do that. And the shoes will come out to about $40. Or if you get our original model, the Off-Axis Ones, they'll only be like $30. So who doesn't want a pair of $30 shoes? They're great for outdoor hiking, any of that kind of stuff. But as I was gonna say today, Today we need to make some serious money because uh, I need to catch up. Uh, I just, yeah, I spent way too much damn money this week. Got a little bit behind. Now we gotta catch up. I'm gonna actually try to do some DoorDash for the next like, probably three hours or so. So I'm gonna try to keep these clips quick and uh, try to see how much money we can make today. So, see you guys when we get to the post office. Again, a bunch of orders that go the opposite direction of the post office. That one's pretty good, but it's like the opposite direction of the post office and I have to make it there within the next, I think 15 minutes. I think it closes at four. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it closes at four on a Friday. So I gotta make it to the post office in the next 15 minutes to make sure that these shoes go out. That way they at least go out this weekend. Um, yeah, Try to I try to keep on top of all the mailing and stuff, but like when you get like four to five orders a day, tend to, it's the most tedious thing that I do is packing orders because like I have to wrap them in this plastic wrap I got to print them out I got to do like it's a lot of like work that goes involved in shipping stuff especially when you're the only person doing it and especially when you're doing four to five orders a day it tends to add up so as I'm picking up my seven boxes that I'm mailing today this guy right here I don't know if you can see him he has about 200 record that he's mailing. So I was like, oh, what are you mailing out? You look like you got more packages than I do. He's like, oh yeah, we do about 50 sales a day and they sell records. I was like, oh wow. This douchebag next to me with a broken window is freaking trying to back out before me. Anyways, yeah, so he's mailing out more stuff than I am. I thought I had to mail a lot of stuff. Like I know the post office people by name and everything. <laughs> Whoa! Anyways, so, all right, we have not gotten an order. Oh, we got one from CVS, $7 for five miles, and you gotta do grocery shopping. We don't do $7 for five miles, but we are gonna drive over to the, uh, we're gonna drive over to the outlet mall and uh, put ourselves in a better spot to get some good orders, because uh, the post office isn't in the greatest spot. Anyways, all right, be right back. All right, 
right, we've had a uh, very long stretch of very crappy orders. Another $3.25 one. My acceptance rate is at 11% right now. <sighs> DoorDash trying to really screw me over with some crappy orders. A lot of them have gone to the strip though. You know, they weren't that bad, but I don't take chances delivering to the strip. We've gone over this before. The strip is the absolute, it's just like hit or miss. They can either come down to the hotel lobby or down to the parking area and meet you. But probably 70% of the time they don't do that and you have to park and walk up to their room. As I am speaking, we get a Chick-fil-A for $10. Let me do some research into this one real quick because it six miles delivers to a house. Okay, that's not so bad. I'm gonna take it just because I've been kind of sitting here for a while and uh, haven't gotten any good orders. So Chick-fil-A and hopefully at least on the way to Chick-fil-A we'll get one more order. So let's go. Picked up the Chick-fil-A order. Damn, it smells good. Uh, something about that chicken there. It smells so damn good. I have only been there twice, but I'm gonna feel like I should go there after this. I'm pretty hungry. Not gonna lie. All I've had today was I've been doing no carbs for the last two days. So I had a rotisserie chicken yesterday and a protein shake, one of these Garden of Life ones that has uh, zero, oh no, two, two grams of carbs. So basically nothing, you know. 25 grams of uh, protein and two carbs. So I'm getting pretty lean. Uh, I think I'm gonna weigh around 155 pounds by the time these shows come up, which is great. Super excited to uh, start performing and I'm glad I'm in good shape for it. But while, uh, while we're driving over there, we got about eight minutes. I'm gonna talk about some financials, and that kind of stuff, because I see a lot of drivers who are talking about starting a YouTube channel. I love it, absolutely love it. The only reason, I mean like, I'm all about trying to get as many people driving and do a DoorDash driver, or driver videos, you know, everyone has their own bits of advice and the more advice that people can give out there, the better it's gonna be. The, the more diverse this community is of like YouTube drivers and I don't know, I accidentally got into basically uh, driving and doing YouTube videos and stuff. My, extreme, my channel used to be all extreme sports based and we're going through a tunnel, but I'm gonna keep talking. Uh, my channel used to be an extreme sports based channel and then I randomly made a video called Postmate Cheat Codes and that's how I became like a DoorDash driver uh, doing YouTube videos and stuff. And it became like lots of tips and stuff and now it's like just the daily dash, you know, like it's kind of formed into that. And I feel like the more people that are doing it, the better it is, especially for the community and the more like, I don't know, it helps everyone out, you know? Because I can only give you the guys tips from my own life. Like I have my certain experiences and I'm sure probably exactly 0% of you guys are acrobats. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. Not everyone's gonna have the same experiences that I do. But maybe there's like other drivers out there. And let's talk about diversifying your income real quick because I have a very diverse income. I actually filed for six businesses last year for taxes. And that is delivery driving is one. Uh, my YouTube channel is another. I shot some weddings and did some social media stuff. That's another. Uh, I did, I'm a professional athlete, so I get like a lot of income from performing and that kind of stuff. Obviously COVID, I didn't have that much. Um, then we have off access footwear and off axis stunt show, which is my live entertainment show that I have. Um, like just today, you're seeing me make three sources of income and they're totally different. Like none of them are even really related to the other. I mean like the only one that's semi related is my footwear company is an acrobatic footwear company and I own an acrobatic stunt show, you know? So other than that, it's like YouTube is one, um, DoorDash is completely separate. Uh, you saw me mail out my shoes. Um, and then also I have stunt shows coming up. So you're literally seeing me work on like four different sources of income. And they're all completely different categories, you know, which for one is great for tax reasons. I can write my whole life off basically. For two, if one ship sinks, like I'm in a, I'm in totally different industries, you know, I can like move on to another one. And just like right now you're seeing me, so today on YouTube, I average anywhere between 65 and $85 depending on ad revenue. Um, my footwear company averages anywhere between like 
400 to a thousand dollars per day in sales it varies though it can uh so i would say it averages around like uh four to ten thousand let's say four to ten thousand per month depend like the months closer towards like november december those are usually a little bit over ten thousand and like right now it's closer to like four thousand or so so you're seeing me like do all these diversified ways of making money so you guys right now should think about different ways i would suggest reading a book called think and grow rich that's a great one for putting you in a like a mindset of like different entrepreneurs who are very successful and uh, Think Grow Rich is one of my favorite ones. The 4-Hour Workweek. 4-Hour Workweek, I would say, is probably more towards someone who's already started a business and is trying to make their life a little bit quicker and more efficient. Then Rich Dad Poor Dad is always going to be my favorite, obviously. I talk about that book so often. Um, t I think it's the seven highly effective habits of successful people uh, something like that that book also is really good I read that one like last year there's so many good books out there so while you guys are sitting around if you guys don't have any businesses or don't have anything like the best way to do obviously everything comes from your brain so the more you can like think about these kind of things the more chance you have of thinking of a great idea you know so books like those that are like critical thinking books and make you think about certain situations that's how that's how you come up with these kinds of ideas like I obviously like I didn't just have the idea uh, the idea of doing a stunt show and the idea of doing a footwear company a stunt show is something I thought about for a long time but I was like I'm never gonna have like 30 grand to drop on like all that equipment and stuff and then I realized man I could just like get a loan now and like all like literally you guys could have all the money you need by tomorrow you know it, it takes us to go get a business loan or a personal loan or something depending on how much it is and if even if you don't have enough saved up I am huge I'm so down for people to go into debt for something that they absolutely love because I went in, into debt for my stunt show which ended up making me enough money to invest into the footwear company which all of this is possible because of my YouTube channel and because I had a pretty successful social media business before all of this started my first business that I really got going was the social media business where I'd basically take uh, social like companies and run their social media. This is before like Instagram and Facebook. Like this is when Facebook marketing just came out. That's when my social media business was doing well back in like 2014, 15, 16, and I made pretty good money off of that. And I was able to invest it into my stunt show, which I was able to make money and invest it into the footwear company. You know, it kind of just like gets going. So the best thing to do is just take that step and even if you're not sure about it at least try it that way you're learning as an entrepreneur you're always learning on the job you know there's so many things that I know now that I'm like pretty fluent at like importing stuff from China taxes marketing sales like I would have never thought that I would be efficient at any of these things and now I am you know so just like looking at different ways of making money there's so many different things you could do and worst case scenario like make that do like an extra two orders a day and invest that money into like some kind of mutual funds or Bitcoin or something like that you know I don't know at least diversify your your ways of making money that way you're not just relying especially if you're just doing DoorDash you do not want to be relying only on DoorDash and if you like to talk to yourself like I do <laughs> just get a camera out and freaking all it does is like all you have to do is just put your camera up talk to yourself go upload it later think of a nice topic to talk about upload a, a dashing video or something like that you know anyways all right we're pulling up to the customer's house right now that was about an eight minute rant sorry if these are boring but uh i just am big on the financial stuff and i know so many people that are like 40 years old and they only have one source of income and that's working for someone else and it doesn't seem like a good time I gotta be honest I'm so glad that I started this entrepreneur journey like four years ago because it's four or five years ago now actually because now it's really starting to pay off like just today I've probably made around like $700 in shoe sales plus I'm gonna make about 70 bucks a day on DoorDash plus $70 I'm making around thousand dollars a day basically anyways be right back dropping off this order real quick all right, just dropped it off. And yeah, like to just break it all down, like what what do we do? We got four orders of Tony Ferguson shoes. We had three orders of the um, 
off-axis regular ninjas, which are a little bit cheaper than the Tony Ferguson's. So today, so let's see, we got, I think our shoe sales were 425 for Tony Ferguson's plus uh, no one used the discount codes. None of those orders I mailed today were from the, ooh, we got a freaking nice tip too. Making another extra $4 than I thought I was going to. <coughs> um, yeah, none of those orders that I was mailing today were for any of you guys. They were all, uh, probably because we do, uh, I do Instagram marketing on the weekends. But yeah, so anyways, I'm just trying to promote to you guys, like, you guys see me making so many different ways of making money, like, probably close to $1,000 today. Uh, maybe it depends on how much, if we get more of those nice orders. And hopefully this inspires you guys to at least go out and like look for a secondary source of income. Now comment down below, question of the day. What's your guys' secondary source of income if you have one? Let me know. It's important so I know what you guys are doing. Because I like to see what my audience is doing. When you guys like brag about like how much money you t made today and like your businesses and your fitness goals and like how you guys are doing, I love seeing that. Because if I can inspire you guys to get into better shape, whether it's fitness, or physically or financially, I love it, I love it. That's the whole point of my YouTube channel is to help inspire people to live a better life. Because just putting in that 10%, maybe 20% extra effort every day, rather than sitting down and watching TV or something, man, I was, I got, okay, first of all, I gotta talk about this. I was at the, I was at the gym today and on one of the TVs I saw 13 year old unarmed kid gets shot with his hands up and I'm like oh my god here we go again another kid and all I'm thinking is like I'm pissed now you know like another someone got shot then we actually I, I'm sitting there I'm like hold on let me google this real quick I watched the whole video so backstory this kid's name is Adam Adam Toledo or something like that Andrew Toledo or Adam Toledo He's 13 years old, he's in Chicago. It's 2.30 in the morning. This kid is shooting into random cars with a gun. 13 year old kid shooting. There's literally video of this kid shooting a gun into random cars, 2.30 in the morning. The cops chase him, he runs away. He's got a gun in his hand the whole entire time he's running, it's all on film. Then this kid comes up to the side of a fence and as the cop tells him to drop it and turn around instead of dropping and turning around, he kind of like slings it and throws it behind a fence and turns around real quick and he gets shot. Why? Because he didn't drop the gun before where the cop could see. Instead, he tried to make it secretive and throw it. Even the cop, come on now, like that's not up to the cop. That guy could have literally turned around and shot him and then what are we supposed to do? Then we have a dead cop, you know? That's not how it works. Like, dude, first of all, why is there a 13 year old? Man, that stuff just bugs me. The, the way the news tries to spin stuff and make it seem like, oh, cops are out to get everyone. No, they're not. Cops are literally just doing their job. There's, of course there's bad apples, but it's not like the media just paints it and tries to get everyone emotionally involved, you know? That's the whole point of the media is to get people emotional. And like I was emotional when I first saw it and then I looked into it and I was like, Oh, this is some bullshit. That kid, no offense, but definitely wasn't innocent. Definitely wasn't unarmed. Definitely didn't have his hands up, you know? Like, none of that was true. So he was definitely 13 years old. That was the only thing that was true. It's just like, man, just don't watch TV. Like, I don't own a TV. Okay, I own a TV, and it sits in the living room, and it never gets turned on except for UFC nights. That's the only time my television gets turned on. I just think the television is so toxic for people. We got an $8 order from Yogurt Land, delivering in the wrong area. We are not trying to go over to the Spring Valley area. Anyways, I'm rambling, but you get what I'm saying. Don't watch the news, guys. I'm sure, I hope none of you guys actually sit there and watch the news, because nothing, nothing comes from, nothing good comes from politics or watching the news. Nothing good. All it's gonna do is put you into a bad mood. Watch more YouTubers who have like, awesome positive content you know what that's what I was just talking about this yesterday people are just they always click on my videos that look like they're negative none of my videos are gonna be negative I try to not complain at all I mean sometimes I complain a little bit but I try to keep my message positive in every single video and sometimes I mean 
out the cats out of the bag. Some of the thumbnails. I'm just trying to get you guys to click in the videos, and people tend to click on the videos that look like there's something negative that happened to it. I don't know why, but anyways, be right back. I'm gonna drive back over to the outlet mall. All right, just got an order. It's $11.25 for 6.2 miles. It delivers a little bit out of my dashing zone, a little bit to the west. That order delivered out of my dashing zone, but it was worth it. And this one's $11.25 from Applebee's. And there is how many items? Uh, there's only four items, so. Probably not getting a post tip on this one. I don't know, who knows. I wish only, I just wish there was a way to see DoorDash hiding these. Uh, hiding these uh, extra tips, you know? If only, if only they'd just be honest and tell us, you know? If only there was someone out there who could uh, figure out a way to come up with some kind of, uh, I don't know, technology to where you can actually see the orders. That'd be pretty sweet. Also, I just have to preface this video because I'm probably gonna title it something along the lines of I made $1,000 in one daily dash, which is true. It's true, you guys watch me make $1,000 not one DoorDash, but in one daily dash, which is me doing this video. Um, so the only reason I'm in this position where I can make that kind of money is because I constantly reinvest my money back into off axis. So off axis makes that money because I don't take that money out. I'm not going to put that like $800 or whatever we made shoe sales today that's not going in my bank account that's going straight back into the off-axis bank account I'm just going to reinvest back into uh, more marketing more products and that kind of stuff so I, and that's a business that I essentially run completely by myself now, I have a business partner but I'm mostly doing mostly all of it by myself now if you're not doing that if you're not reinvesting back into yourself it's almost like you're falling behind because it the older you get the harder it becomes to make more and more money, you know? Like, we, we get more tired, our bodies hurt, like, you don't know, gotta tell me about my body hurting. My body freaking hurts. And it's harder to make more money the older you get, you know? And you don't wanna be 50 years old with no sources of income and no, like, passive income and no extra ways of making money. You wanna start as young as you possibly can. That way, I mean, the more passive income, the easier life gets, you know? Like, life was hard for me when I had no passive income, when I was working at a restaurant, and I was barely making enough to get by, and I had, I bought a freaking car that was too expensive, and I couldn't afford it, and I had no idea how money works. So that's why I kind of take it upon myself to try to at least, maybe not, maybe I'm not the best at educating, but I can be pretty good at showing examples, and I hope it doesn't come off as cocky. I hope it's just kind of like, you guys see what I'm doing that maybe it inspires you or gives you some kind of ideas on ways that you guys can do it yourself because life gets easier the more sources of income you have like the easier it gets like I'll be honest I barely barely have to work everything that I do now I enjoy I don't dislike anything that I'm doing and by the way I told you guys recently I was gonna go to school to be a financial advisor I've determined that I don't want to do that anymore because it seems like homework and it seems like even though you can make I could like have another source of income I don't think it's worth it for me to create another source of income and go to school for it and like pull my resources and attention away from the businesses that are already obviously doing pretty well so uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, and I gotta be honest, it seems kind of pyramid schemey. And I'm not into that pyramid scheme stuff. But, anyways, I feel like I'm already a pretty decent financial advisor. I feel like I'm pretty well versed in. When I, when I talk to my friends, my friends are acrobats, by the way, about taxes and stuff, they, they have no fucking idea what the difference between a W-2 and a 1099 is. My friend thought that he was gonna make money back when he only had 1099s which means he didn't pay any taxes this year, which means he's gonna have to pay taxes if he didn't write enough stuff off because he was used to getting his uh, Cirque du Soleil W-2 tax return, you know? He didn't work for Cirque du Soleil last year because no one did. Um, I mean, some people worked a little bit for him, but uh, you know who you are, Elijah. <laughs> Try to tell me that he knows how to do his taxes. He doesn't. Anyways, all right, be right back. Also, while I'm on this financial rant of uh, just rambling about financials and money and stuff. Um, 
you gotta understand you're not gonna just if you go out there and create a business or something you're not gonna make money right away this is like it's like working out you know it takes consistency long long like years of effort like you're not gonna just work out and in a week later you're gonna have a six pack with like awesome abs and stuff no it takes years you know I've been working out every single day at the gym since I was 18 years old it's been 12 years you know you got to put in works work like that you know I've been doing my businesses and stuff no. uh, yeah, yeah yeah for about four four or five years now so it doesn't just like pick up out of nowhere and if it does you know you see those people that make a lot of money off like I don't know some random I don't know, let's say OnlyFans or something, you know? All of a sudden these girls start making a bunch of money. No offense if you're an OnlyFans girl. I just don't really think OnlyFans girls are watching my YouTube channel. But you see these girls that make a bunch of money all of a sudden off of OnlyFans. All their friends want to see them naked. Yada yada. You think that girl's going to do anything with that money? Or you think she's probably just going to go spend it on nails and this and that? And then all of a sudden her friends stop wanting to see her naked and then all of a sudden she doesn't have any more money and then she's older and then she doesn't have any ways of making money because she was living in la la land thinking like oh this money's gonna keep going on and on and on and on and then you get older and no one wants to see you naked anymore and then you're stuck with no money you know same thing with like people who make money off of like sporadic businesses like that just randomly happen to take off and then all of a sudden it's like it's like hit or miss you know and then hits one time and then it just misses consistently after that those people don't learn the habits of rich people and investing the money back into themselves and stuff you know I would love to take that seven or eight hundred dollars that I made in shoe sales today and go to the mall and freaking buy some like sunglasses because I'm wearing these cheap seven dollar sunglasses and I have like some thirty dollar sunglasses in there I just prefer these seven dollar ones for some odd reason um, yeah, it's, you, you have to develop these habits over longer periods of time. Like, for for instance, like, when I was barely making enough money to get by, when my f stunt show first got canceled because of COVID, and I had to daily dash and do DoorDash every single day, make $70 every single day enough to get by, like, I at least had the habits of someone who had been practicing good financial habits for years, you know? Most people don't understand that every single day you have to make $70 to get by in order to make $2,100 a month to have enough money to get by you know I didn't I didn't always have those habits it takes lots and lots of practice and listening to audiobooks and you guys as delivery drivers you have the chances out there to sit there and listening to the best audiobooks I list all I do all day long is listen to podcasts and they're not the funnest podcasts they are like the informational ones like my favorite one is uh, Patrick Bet David or Valuetainment. Patrick is the, the king of entrepreneurship, I think. Um, I, he runs a life insurance business. I don't really I don't really like life insurance, but he's got some really good things to say. And then I listen to like Gary Vaynerchuk, who's eh, it seems like he's just like a motivational speaker guy. He doesn't have the greatest information to give out. It's just kind of like work harder, work harder, work harder. But it does get the point across, you know? And then there's other people, like there's so many good informational vloggers and YouTubers out there that you can listen to, or audiobooks. You can listen to like anything on Audible. And a lot of these books are free on YouTube. So anyways, the information's there. Do what you want with it. Be right back when we drop off this order. Yo, real quick, this makes me so happy. Check out this photo of Tony. If you zoom in, you can see the off-axis logo. And he's being posted by uh, Freddie Roach, if you guys know who that is, it's probably the most famous boxing coach of all time, by his gym. See that? That's good marketing right there. Tony just happens to be wearing an off-axis shirt while getting posted by the absolute biggest boxing gym of all time, aside from maybe Floyd Mayweather's gym, but that's wildcard boxing. That makes me so happy whenever I see Tony like getting posted by the UFC or like on like big boxing gyms and stuff and he's wearing like one of our shirts. So stoked. Anyways, and also that uh, the uh, UFC uh, countdown show for the 262, I was in it with uh, working out with Tony and stuff. So I'm super excited for that to come out because I think we got some pretty sweet footage of the off-axis shoes with Tony wearing them. So anyways be right back almost to the customer's house now that is how you walk your dog 
Look at that. That's so funny. She's literally riding a quad while walking her dog. <laughs> that is laziness at its finest right there. All right. Oh, I think this actually is my customer too. Dropping it off right now. All right, we made an extra $2 on that one, $13.25. And as I came back to the car, because <coughs> I do this, I uh, complete delivery. Whenever it's hand to customer, I complete the delivery, and then I walk up to the door, so that way by the time I come back, hopefully there's an order. And there was one, and it was for $13.50 for six miles, and it delivers right back towards my house. So by the end of this video, we're gonna meet, at least make around, assuming this is, uh, we might get a post tip on this one because it's a $60 order. So $13.50, so we'll probably make around $40 to $50 by the time this vlog is over. So be right back when we drop off this order. All right, and last bit of my ramble. A lot of people are probably like, where do I start? Where's the best place to start? And like, yada, yada, maybe you're not like that. Maybe I'm just making it up. But I think, I personally think the absolute best way to start, and it all starts with, creating habits and stuff and the best absolute best habit that you can have is go to the damn gym every single day like seriously just go to the gym get up get your day started first thing in the morning your body's gonna feel so much better and your brain's gonna work better you're just gonna feel more productive everyone get yourself a freaking gym membership if you don't have one it is work you can find a $20 a gym membership if you're struggling for money or something out there you can find a $20 gym membership make sure you get one that doesn't have a freaking contract contracts suck um, try to get like I don't know like EOS or something it's like 20 bucks a month no no uh, no contract the gym that I go to now the UFC fit one uh, there's no contract that one's like 70 bucks a month and I pay an extra 80 for cryotherapy and stuff but just just go out there and get a gym membership that's all I ask you guys just please and let me know when you guys get some progress let me know in the comments down below like what your progress has been like totally let me know I love it all right man we are doing really good today we got another post tip oh yeah that means we're three for three on post tips today and that is a total of exactly forty dollars BAM forty dollars we've been dashing for about an hour and a half it's pretty damn good if you don't ask me or no if you ask me not if you don't ask me uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my brain is fried too much DoorDash lately all right so I'm gonna wrap up today's video because I have no idea how long this is, but it's gonna be a lot of editing for sure. Um, so if you guys enjoy these videos at all, please smash that like button. It greatly helps out my channel. And also, subscribe if you guys haven't yet because uh, these videos are gonna get better and better and better and better. And hopefully we'll learn from a little bit from each video. Anyways, so thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't yet, check out off axis acrobatics.com use my discount code tanners youtube until may 1st that'll get you 65 percent off we'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching peace